Hi, this is Travis with another video for you guys. So today's going to be a video on shoulders. I've been getting some special requests for this video. And for those of you who don't know me, I'm a doctor of physical therapy as well as I've been a personal trainer for a bit over 15 years. And uh, you can definitely check out some of my other videos for some options on shoulders. I recently posted a mini band upper body video where I showed, showed some pretty cool shoulder variations. So today I'm going to go a little more specifically to give you guys some other ideas on how to hit shoulders. And so the first thing I'm going to use is one of these super bands again. And uh, as usual, I'll put all the links to the products I'm using at the bottom. And so one of the tried and true exercises with the bands, and probably one of the um, early exercises people started doing when these bands were new, is an exercise called the pull apart. Okay. And so for that one, you're just going to take a hold of the ends and sort of pull this guy into your sternum. Okay. And one of the pitfalls I see with this is sometimes people engage their upper trapezius a lot, so they're kind of up here and pulling. So just try to keep the shoulders, you know, a little more down and pull them back as you pull that guy apart, okay? And that's just a really nice way to get into those, you know, posterior rear deltoid areas, some of those muscles we call your scapular retractors and your shoulder blades as you sort of pull this guy apart, okay? And if doing that, you still, if you kind of feel it more here than the shoulders, one thing you can always do too is try to bring it down a little bit lower and sometimes that might help. So sometimes coming down here might allow you to feel a little more there versus up here you tend to sometimes want to want to shrug and increase that upper trapezius so just kind of come a little low if you need to and then as i showed in one of the other uh, chair exercise videos you can also go palms up on this one too that's kind of a, bit, a variation i don't see as much it's definitely a little harder so you might want to go a little closer towards the ends but that does a really nice job working those those external rotators because when you turn your palms up it kind of spins your shoulders, so you're going into a little more external rotation. So with a heavy band, that one might be a tall order, but you know, you definitely can come a little lower on this one as well. And if you can do that one, that's also a pretty nice variation. And so sometimes what I'll do on this one, if I'm really looking to work my shoulders pretty hard, is I'll kind of mix and match the points that I'm contacting my body. So if you can, pull this guy kind of into your you know, lower breastbone area, and then maybe pull it into your belly button. And so I'll kind of come a little higher, and then a little lower just to kind of mix and match that tension a little bit. And that's kind of a cool way to break it up. Um, but you know, again, you can go all in one, one direction and do the other one in a different uh, variation, you know, different day. Uh, but that is a pretty cool exercise for those of you looking to get a little more on those rear delts and some of those scapular retractor muscles. A really cool exercise, one of the tried and true, you know, shoulder exercises are the side laterals. And those tend to put a little more pressure on that medial deltoid. And that's the one people tend to want to develop when they say they want to work shoulders, because that's the one that'll kind of give your shoulder a little more width. You know, typically the anterior deltoid, which is in the front, is going to kind of make it more this way and, and posterior more that way. So if you really want that sort of side profile, it's that, that middle or medial delt that you want to hit. And so all you're going to do is, you know, same thing if you were somebody who exercised in the gym, you know, same way you take a pair of dumbbells and, you know, you lift that dumbbell out to the side, you're just going to take the band and in that same position. So I just go, you know, right now I'm sitting, but again, you could do this standing, and you're just going to go right up to the side, okay? Ideally, it's kind of like you're trying to make a cross. So you sort of want your hand to be about the same height, roughly, as your shoulder, or slightly below it, okay? One thing I typically don't recommend is turning your thumb down on this one. So if your thumb kind of ends up spinning this way, that tends to close down what we call your subacromial space and tends to kind of pinch some of the, the bundle of muscles in there. So you might start getting some bicep irritation, uh, you know, some of the rotator cuff tendon irritation. So Keep the, the thumb either kind of pointed straight ahead or even slightly up if you want to really kind of be on the safe side with that one. And you're still going to do a pretty good job working that muscle. So in my case, I almost kind of point my thumb slightly up rather than, than down. And that does a pretty good job. And again, this one you might tend to shrug on, so just watch out for that as well. So, you know, if your shoulders come up just a little bit, that's okay. But you don't definitely want to be up by your ears, as you don't want to be kind of up here. You want to just kind of keep the shoulders a little bit down and then pick that guy up and out to the side. Okay, and that's the side lateral, okay? Now, obviously, from this position, though, there's no reason, again, to dial it into one angle. If you want to start to bias a little more towards the anterior or that front part of the, the deltoid here, you can come kind of between. So, you know, typically the front raise is the way to get pure, you know, front shoulders. So if you do want to develop more in that front part, then a good old-fashioned front raise is certainly fine, okay? But again, no reason why you have to stay there. Sometimes I like to kind of do a hybrid where I'm just kind of in between both, okay? And so I might still go to the side. And again, if you want to play around with that, you can kind of mix and match. You can kind of start front, middle, side, and then maybe go again front. You know, you can kind of mix that up within a set. Or again, do all straight sets, your front raises, 
you know, maybe take a little break, do your side raises, you know, take a little break and go back. You can mix it up that way too. The deltoids typically, I think, respond pretty well to high volume, and I think it kind of increases that, uh, that mind-muscle connection, your ability to really feel it when you give it a pretty short rest period. So I kind of like doing deltoids that way. I like to kind of, you know, do front, do side, you know, real short rest, you know, almost kind of like I'm just, you know, going back to back, or almost like you're doing a super or, or compound set. And I think for some people, you know, they have a hard time kind of feeling their shoulders working. So if you keep it under tension, you know, you don't really give it a lot of a rest. So, you know, again, just to show with that exercise, you know, you could come up, you know, do a little pause, come back down, up and pause. But I think when you just kind of go and you don't really give it a break, you kind of just do those continuous reps, that kind of helps to keep it under tension to where you're going to feel that muscle work a little bit more. So for those of you who can't really feel those deltoids, try that out, and I think you'll definitely start to get them ticking in. Okay, so one other way I want to show you guys to do this too. So aside from just doing, you know, kind of that middle or side or all front, you can kind of combine the two by sort of coming front, keeping your hands up, going to the side, and then coming down, or going to the side, swing them back around, and then coming to the front that way. That's a pretty potent way to keep your deltoid muscles under tension as well. So you can go front, out to the side, side back to the front, you can do it that way. Or you can kind of just start from the back, come to the front, and then go to the side again. And that's definitely a pretty potent one to really get those shoulders. And as you start to get tired, you're going to start to feel those upper trapezes wanting to kick in. So just try to really keep yourself honest and don't let them rise up as you're staying with that. So, you know, try not to challenge yourself to just kind of really send your mind to the muscles and shoulder the whole time as you're doing that. And that's a really cool variation that you're definitely going to start to get those shoulder muscles working. Okay, so one thing I also want to show you guys, uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with this, you can check on some of my other videos, but I kind of show how I use one of these foam rollers, the hollow one, and I, I put the band through it to give myself a little bit of a platform for my feet. And so feel free to check out the back video, um, how I show some variations on how to sort of do some rows. And so in that video, I also show how you can hook up these fat grips to the bands for those of you who want to give yourself a handle. So again, these tend to be designed more for you know, dumbbells and barbells, but they hook up to the bands pretty nicely uh, for those of you that feel like these bands dig into you. And so before I showed kind of a horizontal row, I showed a mid row, and I showed kind of a high row. And so for those of you that really want to get a little more into the deltoid, I'd say stick with that kind of mid to high row variation. So, you know, if I'm coming kind of more into that mid row or that high row, you know, that's definitely going to get some of those lats and those upper back muscles. But also does a pretty nice job working those deltoids. So don't forget about those exercises. And for those of you that want to watch a little more on that, feel free to check out my back video. Um, but right now I'm going to show some more shoulder specific variations. And so a cool thing you can do with this is also is you can keep this closer to your feet. Uh, these muscles don't have a lot of leverage or particularly, you know, real strong muscles. So you may also need to use kind of a light band on this one. But a cool thing you could do are what we call some letters. So and if you notice, I'm not just pulling my elbows straight back. I'm kind of trying to form a little bit of almost like a, like a V or, you know, kind of a W down here, okay? So I can kind of come, again, mid or sort of high, but I'm kind of working external rotation as I am doing a row type maneuver. So, again, take a hold of these and don't feel like you can't put some handles on these if you want them. Again, kind of pull those hands as well as those elbows back. And that's a pretty nice way to get into those shoulder muscles. And so again, you can mix and match, or you can do all straight sets. So you can just keep coming up high all the way through. And again, you may want to use a pretty light band on these, because again, these are pretty <laughs> um, weak muscles. You'll find that, you know, compared to say what you're going to be able to grow and things like that, you're definitely going to not be able to lift as much if you're going to keep your form fairly honest. So. Um, your body's going to want to compensate again with those upper traps. Those are just the ones that always tend to kick in. So just make sure that, again, you're not up here. Try your best to kind of keep the shoulders down a little bit. You don't have to really tack them down hard, but you do want to have them, you know, sort of off your ears. So those are some cool variations you can throw at this as well. So I usually call these letters. And again, you can do straight sets or you can break it up. And I just usually like to mix and match. I'll kind of vary from, from high to low. In the back video, I also show how you can kind of extend the set using a you know, technique like that, so feel free to check that out as well. Okay, so for the encore today, I'm going to show you how to combine a few of these concepts to really uh, get after those shoulder muscles. So, 
Um, for those of you who watched this mini band video, you may remember some, some things I showed with this band. Uh, feel free to check that video out as well if you don't uh, if you didn't have a chance to look at that. Uh, one thing I didn't show with this one, I, I should kind of have a side lateral of this, but you can also do some external rotation with both hands from this, and that's a pretty cool exercise that you can also incorporate in the mixture. And again, you can do this sitting or standing. I just happen to be down here right now. And so what I can do is I can do that exercise, you know, kind of warm myself up with a lighter band, sort of like I'm using now, or if I had a heavier band, you know, I can kind of do a straight set with this, you know, maybe shoot for like, you know, 15, 20 reps, something like that. And so just try to go with an exercise like this until that runs out of gas, okay? And so I would do that exercise, and then maybe I would take a, another band and go straight into an exercise that's also going to get my rear ducts. So now I can combine that pull apart in here. And so then I would just do that until I run out of gas on that exercise. And that would be a pretty potent way to sort of do what we call like a compound set where I'm doing two exercises for pretty much the same muscle groups back to back. And that's definitely a potent way to finish an exercise. So say you just want a little extra attention to those shoulders at the end of a workout, you know, you can definitely incorporate something like this. And that's just a nice effective way to give a little extra attention to those muscles. So uh, check out that um, mini band video I posted for the upper body. Um, there's definitely some exercises that'll get your shoulders burning for sure on that video. Uh, but here's also a few other variations you guys can add to the mixture. Uh, feel free to comment below, let me know what you think. And as usual, I hope you guys have some fun.